Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 49, concerning the Ammonim, thus says Yahuwah, Has Yasharael no sons? Has he no heir? Why then does their king inherit at God, and his people dwell in his cities? Therefore, behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabbah of the Ammonim, and it shall be a desolate heap, and her daughters shall be burned with fire. Then shall Yashar'el eth be heir unto them that were his heirs, says Yahuwah. Howl, O Chesban, for Ai is spoiled. Cry, ye daughters of Rabbah. Gird you with sackcloth. Lament. And run to and fro by the hedges. For their king shall go into captivity. And his priests and his princes together. Wherefore glory you in the valleys, your flowing valley, O backsliding daughter that trusted in her treasures, saying, Who shall come unto me? Behold, I will bring a fear upon you, says Adonai, Yahuwah, Sevaoth, from all those that be about you, and ye shall be a driven out, rather ye shall be driven out every man right forth, and none shall gather up him that wanders. And afterward I will bring again Eth, the captivity of the children of Amon, says Yahuwah. Concerning Edom, thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep. O inhabitants of Didan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. If grape gatherers come to you, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered at his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave your fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let your widows trust in me. For thus says Yahuwah, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and are you he that shall altogether go unpunished? You shall not go unpunished, but you shall surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, says Yahuwah, that Batzra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual wastes. I have heard a rumor from Yahuwah, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together, and come against her, and rise up to the battle. For, lo, I will make you small among the heathen, and despised among men. Your terribleness has deceived you, and the pride of your heart, O you that dwell in the clefts of the rock, that hold the height of the hill. And though you should make your rest as high as the eagle, I will bring you down from thence, says Yahuwah. Also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goes by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. 
as in the overthrow of Chidam and Amora and the neighbor cities thereof, says Yahuwah, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of Adam dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of the Yardan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her, and who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me, and who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of Yahuwah that he has taken against Edom and his purposes, that he has proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall, at the cry, the noise thereof, was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Batsara. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded and Arpad. For they have heard an evil report. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble and turns herself to flee. And fear has seized on her. Anguish and sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left? the city of my joy. Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Bain Hadad. Concerning Kedar, and concerning the kingdoms of Chatzor, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, shall smite. Thus says Yahuwah, Arise ye, go up to Kedar, and spoileth the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall they take away. They shall take to themselves their curtains and all their vessels and their camels, and they shall cry unto them, Fear is on every side. Flee, get you far off, dwell deep, O ye inhabitants of Chatzor, says Yahuwah. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, has taken counsel against you and has conceived a purpose against you. Arise, get you up into the wealthy nation that dwells without care, says Yahuwah, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone, and their camels shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil, and I will scatter into all winds them that are in the utter, rather utmost corners, and I will bring eth their calamity from all sides thereof, says Yahuwah. And Chatzor shall be a dwelling for dragons and a desolation forever. There shall no man abide there, nor any son of Adam dwell in it. The word of Yahuwah that came to El, Yermiyahu, the prophet, against Ilam, in the beginning of the reign of Siddiq Yahu, king of Yahudah, saying, 
Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might, and upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven, and will scatter them toward all those winds. And there shall be no nation whither the outcasts of Elam shall not come. For I will cause Eth Elam to be dismayed before their enemies and before them that seek their life. And I will bring evil upon them, even Eth my fierce anger, says Yahuwah. And I will send Eth the sword after them till I have consumed them. And I will set my throne in Elam and will destroy from thence the king and the princes, says Yahuwah. But it shall come to pass in the latter days that I will bring again at the captivity of Elam, says Yahuwah.